Measuring AI performance is, of course, obviously not like measuring database performance. Performance measurement is hardly ever trivial, but measuring LLM performance or other AI systems performance is problematic to an extent that it is qualitatively different from normal benchmarking. Benchmarking can be complicated by system configuration, like how much memory you have and whether the processor architecture you're using is particularly convivial to your benchmark software. Sometimes you have to use real world problems and specify the entire system configuration that you're working with in order to publish a useful benchmark number. The problem with our LLMs is there isn't even a unit of measure that tells you something reliably meaningful about LLMs. We know that for some problem domains, LLMs exhibit surprisingly powerful performance. This makes it even more remarkable that it is relatively easy to formulate problems that LLMs find impossible, including some basic arithmetic problems. Some of these places where LLMs stumble are directly related to places where they seem to exhibit surprisingly good performance. For example, LLMs have supposedly been, have been supposedly benchmarked using a standardized test that measures human math and logic skills, and they've performed well. Some people have drawn the conclusion from this test result that LLMs are on their way to human-like reasoning powers and artificial general intelligence, but varying the test questions slightly results in much poorer performance. This has led other people to conclude that LLMs were cheating on the test, having been trained, perhaps incidentally, on questions and answers that are very similar to those on the standardized test. We are entering a period where discovering these holes in LLM's abilities will result in a series of incremental improvements to patch those holes. More interestingly, it may result in the discovery of new architectural requirements for LLMs in order to more fundamentally avoid these weaknesses, essentially adding techniques to the LLM's transformer-based functions. There's even the possibility that the transformer model itself is superseded.